hello friends welcome back to automation testing salary.com so this is the fifth part of uh, selenium cucumber bdd framework with java and this is the continuation video of data driven testing which we have started in the last video so let's have a look like what we are going to discuss today so in the last video we talked about parameterization without example keyword and using example keyword uh, in scenario outline right so these are the things which we have discussed in the last video and today I'll talk about uh, how we can parameterize our test using data table in Cucumber. So let's get started. So my Eclipse is already opened here and this is our project, Cucumber project. And uh, let me open our uh, login steps and we have runner class and our feature file, right? So we have uh, login features, this login feature we have. And this is the test feature let me delete this uh, we don't need so just for our reference we have created this last time so simply I am going to delete this so this is what we have implemented in the last video we have seen uh, without using example keyword without using example keyword and using examples keyword and I'll show you the difference like what is the difference when we have the data table uh, and how it is different from a scenario outline and example keyword without using example keywords okay so we'll discuss about uh, those points as well so what I'm going to do here is uh, to implement the data table I'm going to have one more feature file copy simply I'm copying this login feature file and I simply put it over here and I'll change the name to data table click on ok so we have couple of uh, feature files over here one is login feature existing file and this is what we have created and to implement this uh, uh, data table what we are going to do we are going to make some changes over here so in feature I am going to write test the login functionality of orange HRM using data table simply to distinguish uh, from uh, previous feature file I am changing the name and simply I'll put uh, in scenario outline as well and outline keyword is not required here uh, scenario is fine and I'll remove the examples as well and uh, user enters instead of username and password simply what I'm going to write here is credentials credentials using data table data table and uh, in the same way guys uh, last time we have implemented using examples keyword using pipelines we are passing the data so in the same way I'm going to use in the data table as well and I'll show you the difference so I'll put the data over here because in this particular step I'm passing the parameters we want to parameterize this particular step right click uh, pretty format so this is the difference between scenario outline or using examples keyword and data table here we are passing the data in particular step whereas in examples keyword we are passing the data we are passing in the scenario outline we are passing the data using examples keyword and this will be applicable for the entire test so we can use uh, this uh, data in any of the uh, steps which we have written over here so here you can see we have uh, uh, written username over here pa password so we can use this username or the fourth step as well and fifth steps or anywhere we can use okay where is the data table we have to use uh, the data in particular step only okay so in here you can see in the third step in the second step user enters credentials login credentials using data table so here we have to provide the data and uh, the first part is uh, the first way we have seen parameterization without examples keyword there we can pass only one set of test data in particular step or in particular test in particular scenario right uh, only one set of test data so this is the difference between parameterization without example keyword uh, parameterization using scenario outline and using data table so let's implement data table now so you can see uh, we have already implemented in our step definition like these are the steps user is on login page so here you can see I did not change the first uh, the given condition 
only I have changed the second step uh, even third and fourth are same so we need to just uh, define this step in our step definition file right so what I'm going to do in our runner class I'll uh, use try run as uh, true and I'll try to run our test right click and run as generate test now here you can see it shows uh, you can implement missing steps with snippets below so we have we are missing one step over here correct so because we have entered uh, uh, we have written one uh, new step over here user enters credentials using data table admin and admin 123 because we are going to implement data table we are going to parameterize using data table so that's why we have written this extra step other three steps are already defined in our step definition so what I'm going to do I'll copy this snippet or not required will uh, I'll show you how we can implement this so simply I'll copy this when at least and just couple of lines of code these two lines and I'll uh, show you how we can implement inside the code of this uh, particular step so we go to our uh, login steps and here we'll define the when condition yeah so user enters uh, credentials using data table so this is what our step is uh, belongs to right uh, which we have written in our scenario now using data table what we are going to use we have to have one parameter data table like this either you can use like this or you have to import this data table from uh, io.cucumber.data table so just import this now inside this what we are going to use simply write uh, the steps which we have written earlier like passing the uh, username and password the selenium code which we have written like this but I'll tell you what we are going to use here we have to have uh, one data table we have here you can see we have we need to for, uh, for data table we have to create a list of list of strings okay so how to create that uh, like this list of like this we have to create list of list of strings and I'll give name as data and using this parameter name data table dot we have one method called cells we'll call this method okay guys so this will represent this will iterate the our data table okay and instead of using this uh, send dot send keys u name we are uh, we are going to use this data dot get index of uh, zero zero row and get zeroth column okay so here you can see in feature file we have this is this is uh, this is the first row this is zeroth column this is first column so like this so zero through zero th so this is the first data correct and this would be the second data so zero zero and zero one uh, so yeah and data dot gate method is there zero index and dot gate the first column right so this is how we can implement data table we have to declare one uh, we have to create one data uh, using list of list of strings and we have to call this sales method to get the data from data table and simply using get method we need to get the data right so this is how we can get the data now we have implemented this over here I think it should work so coming to this one and now our test will run for uh, uh, three credentials right so using this login feature couple of my uh, data we have and for data table one data sets we have 
so let's run our runner class right click and run as genuine test let's see whether it is working or not sorry we need to make the right run is equal to false and right click and run as genuine test Browser is launched. This is Orange HRM application. You can see it logged in with admin and the password. So this is the first set of test data. This is the second set of test data. I think this is using data table. We'll see. Here you can see admin and and we'll see the third set of test data. Here you can see so we successfully executed three scenarios so let me show you uh, right click and uh, refresh you can go through go go to the project uh, reports and this index.html just copy this put it over here and here you, you'll see uh, test the login functionality of orange hrm using data table so just expand this so here you can see credentials using data table so uh, we have seen it logged in with uh, admin and admin123 and uh, using scenario outline we have couple of parameters admin and admin123 and admin1 these are the wrong details uh, wrong credentials so that's the reason we are not able to log in but since we have not put any assertions so that's why our test cases are passed and here you can see in j unit uh, as well uh, the results so this is test the valid login test the valid login using data table and test the valid login a couple of times using this login feature using scenario outline right so this is how you can implement data table in your uh, script so the difference already we have discussed so this is uh, applicable only for particular step and you can provide a uh, number of uh, I mean uh, uh, the complete data table and you if you want to access the second row third row based on that you can make the changes in your login steps using this uh, index uh, using gate method okay so the particular data which you want to execute so let me uh, impo uh, let me check in this code into github and you can get this in the description box of this video I'll provide the video uh, I'll provide the link in the description box so let me simply check in this code right click and uh, team we have commit data table changes data table changes commit and push And you can pass using uh, either use you can use uh, strings or you can pass using maps as well. So probably uh, we can see how we can use the maps later on in uh, in data table. Okay. So this is all about today, guys. Uh, so probably in the next video we'll talk about tags in Cucumber. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.